Speaking of more legal issues in Australia, uh, this appears to be an Assyrian church. The Assyrians are an ethnic religious group from uh, Syria uh, who are Christian. I think they're one of the oldest branches of Christi Christianity still in existence in, in the world. Um, unfortunately for them, they are surrounded by Arab rape apes. And so they have been persecuted, tortured, kidnapped, uh, uh, just maligned constantly for centuries. And so uh, naturally, with the civil war in Syria and, and the West open arms policy towards refugees, a lot of Assyrians moved abroad and especially to like Australia and where they would set up their church churches again. However, the open arms policy also included the Arab rape apes who found their way to Australia and then realized, oh, an Assyrian church. Ah, my my father, my grandfather, my grandfather's father committed jihad against the Assyrians and murdered and raped and tortured them. Um, so too I will so too will I in this brave new world of Australia. And so they did. And a uh, Muslim man stabbed an Assyrian pastor in Australia. And the footage of it arrived on the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, uh, and Australia was pissed. Now, there's lots of violent footage that's out there on the Internet, but when it comes to exposing the fact that the Arabs and Muslims in Australia are violent and completely and totally incongruous with uh, the natural fiber of society in the West, uh, they get really, really upset about that because they just like to pretend that everything is fine and this shit doesn't happen ever. So the Australian Censorship Committee, which was, uh, I believe, established after Christchurch, but probably it might have existed before, but I first realized that it exists after Christchurch because I got... Uh, shitty letters from both New Zealand and Australia. And to this day, I still get occasional, like once every year, a letter from the censorship committee that realizes that there's a, the Christchurch footage still on the site. They send me an email saying, you will be fined $800,000 reduced a day for noncompliance. To which I say, I don't fucking care. Um, and then they email me again in a year, threatening me with $800,000 a day fines. Uh, However, X is much bigger than the Kiwi Farms, and it has much more uh, ability to pay out, and it's attached to Elon Musk, who everyone hates right now. So, um, when they received this legal order to censor this content, X said, okay. And they went ahead and they blocked the footage for Australians. Now, you may not know this, but Australia is actually the center of the entire world. You'd kind of think, oh, it's just like off there in the, in the south, in like the Pacific. It's like in one of the most remote regions of the entire planet, just surrounded by like Indonesians and Southeast Asians that nobody cares about. Um, and then like Pacific Islanders that don't even have names that nobody can even like nobody knows anything about any of those fucking islands that are scattered about the Pacific. I think Tuvala is like a one that people know. It has like a population of like 3000 and they have China, which people do actually care about and is one day going to buy Australia just outright, just going to give them like a brick of gold or something and be like, okay, we own you now. Uh, anyways, uh, Australia thinks it's the center of the world and it has said, actually, when we say you have to block this footage, we don't just mean in Australia, we don't just mean in Asia Pacific, we mean in the entire world. Uh, Elon Musk says, no, I'm not going to do that and we're going to challenge it in the court. I think that this is, um, sorry, it's called the E-Safety Commission, not the Censorship Committee. Uh, Elon promised that he would fight it in the uh, in the courtroom of Australia to try and oh this is what I wanted oh no actually okay so yeah I did want to say that X was about to fight it and then I wanted to play this video about one of your fellow senators posting that video out of Wakeley the uh, the alleged attack and. Elon Musk really showing contempt for the government and its approach on this issue. What's your your take on the the tech billionaire? Um, so when it comes to the tech billionaire, like I've already said, I think he's a social media knob with no social conscience. He has absolutely no social conscience. Someone like that should be in jail and the key be thrown away. That bloke should not be have a right. Um, to be out there on his own ideolo ideology platform and creating hatred, um, you know, so, showing... God, I, 
Dude, I want to punch every Australian in the fucking face. I always think that the people on the ideological platforms in other countries that they paid for out of pocket for the right to do uh, under a constitutional uh, framework, which thousands of men have fought to die and for to protect, always think they should be thrown away with the key tossed down the, the gutter drain. And then it's like... Uh, just fucking contemptible. It's like, oh, so let me let me get this straight. Elon Musk allowing a video to to exist on the internet, a true, honest, undistorted, realistic depiction of things that actually happened and resulted in people dying. That is so socially unconscionable that it should result in life in prison. However, that that's because it creates hate. But this. Going to a foreign country, finding old enemies from his country in the new country, and then killing them just like they did in the original country they're both from, after which caused the refugee crisis to begin with, that doesn't create hate. The only, the only thing that creates hate about this incident is that people know it happened. <laughs> and it's, it's Elon's fault that people know that it happened. And don't even say woman, because this fucking guy in the background is cheering her on. This guy. On contempt for the government. Oh, I think he has contempt for the government. Uh, yeah, that's like the default position for a human being. Do you have contempt for the government? You might, you might think the question would be, which one? No, the answer is yes. I have contempt for the government. Which one? All of them. Fuck them all. Fuck Australia. Fuck New Zealand. Fuck the U.S. Fuck them all. They're all terrible. Like, didn't I think that it's, it's scary. It's like that that bloke over there. He ain't got no contempt for the government. He pays his taxes and he's happy with it. What the fuck? <laughs> think something's wrong with them. They should lock him up and throw away the key. <laughs> he has no right to be be happy with his government. What the? F <laughs> that's a danger. That's a dangerous person right there. Um, I want to hear what else she has to say. I think he's a social media knob with no social conscience. He has absolutely she no She practiced that too. She's, she's so proud of that. She's, he's a social media knob with no social conscience. What the fuck does that even mean? What does that mean? I have no social conscience? Maybe, maybe, no. No, it couldn't be that he weighed the outcomes of two different things and said, I like this idea better. No, he has no conscience. He just does whatever. Social conscience. Someone like that should be in jail and the key be thrown away. That bloke should not be have a right um, to be out what? there on his own ideolo ideology platform and creating hatred, um, you know, showing all this stuff out there to our kids and doing all the rest. I'm very interested to watch what the US is going to do with TikTok and how far that they can do. Oh, dude, she's um, salivating. She's salivating. Well, we, we haven't been able to do what we want to do in the US because they have the Constitution. But with the TikTok ban, doors might swing wide. Maybe we can get X band too. We can get X band. We can do whatever we want. Once the, they know, they know that as soon as the U.S. goes down, that's it. There's no more like, oh, you're just this this evil country, the U.S. with all of its evil hate speech on the internet. They know once the U.S. is gone and the the the, the Constitution doesn't apply to like the internet shit anymore, it's fucking over for everybody that platform as well so i think we're all watching on the united states at the moment to see what they're doing but seriously if we can move and if that means in the next sitting that we can shut um him down from doing this because this is happy just to kick disgraceful. them out keep, you keep the platform out oh, i don't give a stuff about the platform i'm happy to go off the platform today I, I to be honest to, with you i have to find something now i have to find something give me a second whenever i whenever i think about how important it is um, for the U.S. to not become cringe and gay. I'm reminded of this song, and I'm hoping that I can find the transcript really, really fast. That's what, God, it's so frustrating, because um, it's one of the lyrics in... Cult of Personality by L The Living Color, where it's like, whatever America hopes to come to pass in the in the world must first come to pass in the heart of America. And it doesn't show up in the transcript for whatever reason. It's one of my favorite quotes, and it's still very true. Um, if the U.S. allows itself to become cringing gay, then it's fucking over. It's over for everybody. All the Australians who, just imagine, just imagine how bad it would be 
if people couldn't like people in Australia and Europe just couldn't host their sites in the US. And by the way, um, I think it's the Department of Commerce that's wanting to add know your customer regulations in the US for VPSs and stuff. So if you want to buy like a provision server in the US to run um, a website on, uh, they're trying to make it so that the hosting company has to keep a record of who it is. Like right now, you can go to various hosting companies in the United States, pay Monero for a VPS, get a VPS allocation with zero identifying information. They don't even need an email address for some of these platforms. And then you can host whatever the fuck you want. And unless it causes problems that get like um, a, like DMCA or, or a court order, then nobody will know who's hosting that site if you're, if you're connecting through Tor and stuff. So... They're trying to um, to litigate that in the U.S. The Department of Commerce is trying to regulate that so that to buy a VPS in the U.S. you have to like dox yourself to the company and they have to keep a record of it for however long the service is operating. So that if you're an Australian trying to do things the Australian government doesn't want you to do that they wouldn't appreciate very much, they they might have contempt for, they can then ask the United States to tell them who the Australian bloke is running a website in the United States. Um, so that they in the Australia can can prosecute them and and lock them up and throw away the key. Uh, that's what's happening. That also needs to be fought like as vigorously as possible. But nobody's even talking about that because they don't understand the implications. Um. So yeah, there's that. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>